Hello and welcome back everyone. Are you ready for the next adventure in our Skyward Sword adventure thing? Oh! Oh wow, I'm actually about to die. Gotta be careful with these guys. Got them tails. Oh, I didn't even see that. No. Oh, what? Oh, come on. You just can get that. Oh, I knocked him off the cliff. What are you gonna do without your buddy? Stab him in the heart. No. Oh, hold on. I got this. Um. Oh, we're not gonna get it. This is too slow. This turn. Ha. Got it. Expert gamer. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so we have to go here to this cart. Hello there, sir. This station here was used by folks heading into the old mines. People still ride the mine carts all over the place, though. I am probably supposed to tell you there is some safety information about using the carts posted on the wall over there. Cart riding can be uh, dangerous at times, so I would suggest you give that stuff a quick read. What, this stuff right here? Approach the cart, press A to get on. Lean your body to balance the weight of the cart as you approach the curves. If you move too fast, press B to slow down, and then... So we just jump to clear obstacles. Okay, let's go. How'd it say to jump? It never said anything on how to jump. Okay, I see. You just push down on the thing. Oh god, you actually have to like keep the balance. Come on, hit that gas. Oh yeah, we got this. I forget where they said this is taking me. We're here. Come on, hearts. Hearts, hearts. And no hearts, okay. Just a rupee. Just what I didn't need. All right, so that looks like it's the way back, if I had to guess. Hold up. This is the way back. Okay. So this is another way to something else. Is there a crystal in here or? So this is to the construction bay. I love being at Disneyland. So fun. Oh, yes. The sheer power. I don't even know which way I was supposed to go. Wait, how do you. What, is it like a trial and error type of deal where I just have to hope I go the right way? Or how does that work? Because the only thing I move with. I don't know, am I supposed to slow it down, maybe? I 
Let me see. There's gotta be some sort of indication as to like which way you need to go. We didn't go this way last time. But I have to go this way. Oh wait, there's this. Okay, I didn't see that. It looked like it was just wood, it, like it didn't go anywhere. Skate land. This is uh What's that Tony Hawk game? Pro Tony Hawk Pro Skater or something like that. Oh god. This is the Nintendo version with the link. Well, I'm just gonna go with it. I don't know which way is the right way. I knew they'd put some sort of obstacle in there that you have to avoid. I really want this to end now because I don't want to accidentally hit a wall and have to do this again. We've been traveling for quite some time. Oh God. So much power. Cart defies all logic. It just says screw you to gravity. Oh yes, we did it. Does anyone carry hearts around here? Here, we'll get hearts like this. I remember reading that in the comments that if you just rest, uh, it gives you all your health. Full power! Who would who would have thought that just sitting around would a uh, heal Link like that? Like he's just he's immortal. Big flesh wound doesn't matter. Just sit down for a minute. He's good. <laughs> Master, we have arrived at the shipyard construction bay. The claw. With the passing of many years, this structure has filled with sand. I recommend looking in, wait, in the sand for a clue that may direct you to the location of the ship. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. I have got it. I'm assuming this right here is going to be the last like item since there's no more filler anywhere and we're going to get that in the next stage which supports my theory of once we do that uh, next stage that's basically it. Oh, is this like a boss? It's going to be like a boss fight that will come to life. Oh I called it. Alright, how do we fight you again? Because we fought you before, I know that. Okay, there it is. I gotta do that to one. Come on! Gotcha. Come on, open up. Come on, come on, let's go. You and me. All day. Got it. Come on, one of these has got to die already. There. There it is. One more should destroy it. Darn. Resilient little thing over here. Got it. Alright, there we go. Let me see that tail. Now I feel like we're fighting a. What's it saying? Oh god. 
Gorma, Gohirma, Go, Go, oh god, I can't think of it. I can never think of its name. The first boss in Ocarina. It's the vibes I'm getting now with the one eye. Oh god, he tackled me. I like that the sand's not actually disappearing now. Yeah, that's right. He didn't want this. He didn't want this. I've already fought you before. I'm pretty sure we fought something similar. Did we get a shine? Master, it would appear that in the many years this factory went unused, monsters have moved in and built a nest. I now estimate that the chance of finding a clue in the sand here as to the ship's location is extremely low. Like, how do you get this information based off of that? I mean, there could still be clues in the sand. Are you just guessing? And I just take your word for it, like you know what you're talking about. Even though two seconds ago you thought, hey, there's probably a clue here. <clears throat> okay, so what did we just accomplish with that? Hold up. Wait. Well, let me check the sand. Because that makes no sense. It was supposed to be some sort of short or something. I know we didn't just go there to fight Larry the Lobster. Hold up. Let me see. Let's just see. Maybe Fee is full of it and she don't know what she's talking about. Because that just seems a little weird that we're back up front. If not, I'll talk to Skipper and we'll see what he has to say. Report Master, I calculate a 0% chance of searching further in this location. All right, I take a hint now. The game is forcing it on me. That just doesn't make sense though. Why would we go all the way around? Take that whole cart ride for it to be like, yeah, this isn't gonna work anymore. I don't see, uh... let me talk to Skipper. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what he suggests. So my ship wasn't there. Then there's only one place left for us to look for clues. This could be scary, but we have to head to the stronghold of the pirates who stole my ship. So let's not waste time. Okay, so we do leave. Anchored away. Okay. This is pretty scary. The pirate captain is a mechanical maniac he's got no shortage of evil underlings too god this makes me want to play wind waker now like i legit just want to play wind waker and just enjoy that game i love that game so much i never wanted to lay eyes on him again if you want to take the ship back then we have no choice all right so we're going to the pirate stronghold which is where's the x oh it's over here Tighten up whatever you humans have instead of bolts, and let's get going. Okay, so cool. Um, yeah, I mean, this makes me definitely want to play some Wind Waker. Cause that, I love that mechanic in Wind Waker, the selling mechanic. I know some people complained about it, like, oh, so much selling. Wait, which one is my location? Can I take these off? Yeah, let's take that off. Put it over. No, I didn't mean to do that. I just want to get rid of these. There. I was pretty sure this was it. Oh, it's not even that far. It's like right here. But yeah, I love all those islands and finding all the little secrets and stuff like that. I would love a freaking Wind Waker that's the size of Breath of the Wild. Like, that would just be so cool. 
to have like that massive of an ocean to just sail around and find all kinds of secret islands and everything and they can make even bigger islands as well because I think like Windfall was one of the biggest islands there all right hold on this is easily the scary as scary as I thought it would be but if you think about it they should all be dead the only reason I'm up and about like this is because of that time shift stone on the boat. So I have nothing to worry about. I feel better now, Link. And so it's time for you to go for my ship. I'll wait here, of course. Alright, cool. Um... Yeah, this gives me like a... Just the way he was talking just now, like pirates and all this other stuff. He gives me a Forsaken Fortress vibe. I killed all your friends, now you have to die. Did it not give a heart? There it is. Alright, so the jaws are shut. Yeah, no, this definitely has Forsaken Fortress vibes all over it. What the? An electric key that's not like super bright yellow and cartoony like in Wind Waker? I do not approve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, this looks like Lord uh, Jubaja. Lord Jubaja. Lord Hubba Bubba. How do I get in? Oh, wait a minute. There's something over here with the nostrils. Oh, yeah. There's definitely something my beetle can check out up there. I wish this thing had a fast mode. Oh, no. I think I'm too... Yeah, I'm too close to it. It's way slant, too slanted. Me. I'm just going to enter your nasal cavity if the beetle has enough juice to do this. No! Is that it? Is that really? No. There's got to be more in there. Hold on. Let me clean out this nostril. Get them sinuses cleared out. He'll probably open his mouth. Tell me thank you. Yeah, that's all that was back there was just that. There's nothing else here. Okay, so that didn't work. I can't get over there. Huh. Well... Well, what happens if I hit it? Let me see if I'm supposed to get sucked in here. Maybe, maybe? I doubt it, but maybe? Nope. Huh. And there's nothing I can claw shot onto. Like, to get up there. Yeah, there's nothing. Up there. Huh. Well, hold up. Let me go back over here. It's weird that they have these, like, stanima things. Okay, is this just a case of kill the choo choos? Ah, you suck. Electric choo choo is like the most annoying thing. Alright, come on, come on. Ah, God! I hate you stupid things. Need to invest in a rubber handle. I'd mess these guys up. I know what you're doing. Oh, check it out. We found something. See, if you move around long enough, you will find what you're looking for. Or you'll die trying. Master, please take a look. This device looks like it's meant 
to hold a time shift stone, but where is where there is not one currently installed. A 95% chance it's some type of device as the ones encountered in the Lineario mines. Okay, so signs indicate that the time shift stone were used in the facility as a kind of power source. So, if you're not dead and you use the time shift thing, do you not age? Since it brings like the past back to life and it, it stays in like a stagnated time. If you're still alive and you hit the crystal and you stay in that bubble, are you no longer aging? Are you now within the stagnated time? How does that work? I don't know if I made that clear as to what I was trying to say. We got stuff. Oh wow, because I don't have a bajillion freaking coins or rupees. Got. What is this? Master, please take a look. Is that the crystal? This object is called a time shift or I can I, I conjecture or I conjure that unlike the time shift stones we've seen, this device was designed to carry around and install in different locations. So I can take it. Oh, cool, it like gets rid of it. Oh wow, he's back. Don't worry, I just run away from him and they will die. Oh heck no. Oh I got poke me in the eyeball. Oh, you were the worst of a goblin. You and your electrical. What you gonna do when I do this? Oh. Oh, hold up. Put that right there for a minute. Is it a compass? Is it a map? Is it some stupid gold skull thing? Oh my god. Why? Oh no, come on, tough guy. Why don't you wanna come over here? Huh? 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 He wasn't ready. See, this is just such a cool concept. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, it's just a flower. Similar flower to the ones from Wind Waker. Yeah, this is definitely the coolest concept in this game. This little time thing is just neat. Alright, so I gotta follow this, clearly. I'm just waiting for one of those not to disappear. Okay, so we're doing this. Wait, can I not roll it? Hold up. Oh, wait, I bet you. Oh, wait, no, I can't even roll it because it's a hexagon type thing. I have to throw this. No, that doesn't work either. Oh, wait, it's going to activate that. Um... Hold on, I wonder if I can do this. Let's see if this works. No, huh. Oh! Okay. I overthought it. I overthought it. I did not examine the area. That, that's too easy. Something's not blocking. Ah. Okay, I understand. Boy, another animation thing. Oh. Evil crystal. Cool. I have yet to use any of this at all. 
I don't even care to deal with these enemies. It's just like whatever. Unless the game forces me to do it. Which it might. That might be what we're doing. Oh, wait, no, there's a thing here. I just gotta get around. Oh, hold up. Time out. Well, the joke's on you guys. I have opened a path. Oh, God. I need my... There. Okay. Okay, so that activates that, and then that activates that guy. I, I don't want... Ah! I hate how these things just keep popping up. I'm not prepared for it. Hold up. Nope. God, I'm in a very not good spot. I can't kill those things. Like, they're so good at dodging your attacks and you get electrocuted. That's way too hard. Those are by far my least favorite enemy because they're just such a pain, you know? Because it doesn't matter, like, if you know how to do the controls or anything like that. Oh my god, we're really all the way over here again? Seriously, game? Jeez. That ain't even right. Well, that sucks. I don't... We're already 26 minutes into the episode, so I'm just going to save and then we'll do this again next episode. That's really annoying. I hate those electrical begoblins or moblins, whatever, whichever one those are. I hate those things because I, I, don't, I, I don't know how you're supposed to attack them. Like, I don't get the concept. Wherever I swing my blade, they're going to have their little electrical rod hit my sword every time and I get shocked. So I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. I mean, I've gotten better with the whole swinging. I'm like, I figured out how you're supposed to do it with the analog now. I don't just do this now. For a while, I was just doing the uh, that as my only offensive ability. Now I had to do a few other things, but it's like I don't know how to fight those things. That that's what screwed me over. But we'll get it next episode. Um, we'll, we'll dive in there further and uh, figure it all out. I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, and I will see you all on the next one. See you then.